is Purple Hedgehog Gaming, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on Iron Assault 2, because I'm bored. <clears throat> so first off, you click a country that you want, and then it'll pop up on your screen, and it goes, would you like to select this country, yes or no? You cl click whatever you want, so uh, I clicked Mexico Federalist Lista, who is at war with this Mexico, and no clue how to say that oh so, sorry um first off let's get down to business to a uh, move you click on a soldier this is to move or to invade you click a boot it's down here then you click on the place you would like it to move so here i want to invade this country so i click on the country and war breaks out and let's see who wins in the next couple of seconds by the way the um editing may be terrible because i'm using a new editing system because my storage can not handle my other editing system i'm also thinking on starting a new channel soon don't know why just out of nowhere just like hey I should do that. Probably not though. But you know, just expect it. Um so basically, uh say you want to get more troops. You go click on the land, click the little building tool and you wanna you wanna like look at this factory is for this little thing, farm is for this. I've no clue how to get more resources. Um then you scroll down to military to get a barrack. You want to build a barrack, but I actually already have a barrack here, so next you click on the barrack, you click on the little army guy and you say say you want five times five, which is five soldiers. Or times ten, which is ten soldiers. Or you can get a cavalry, which will give you times two, which is like probably ten. Ten, and then times ten equals uh twenty. And then you click inactive, and it will do once or every six months. I suggest you put every six months. Okay, so next, so as you. As you can probably tell, I want more land. So, you're gonna go, mm, yes. En enemy. Soldiers. Five and two. One. Okay, so and now we go, mm, yes. Warrior is a powerful soldier. Ah, yes, here. And you click the boot and you send them on their way down. Then. You click on the country you want to have war with. For me, I just want to have the land of Guatemala. Then you go to click on this little arrow thing, which take you here. Oh, and I forgot to say, uh, if you want to get to it, you gotta like click on the country to go down to the flag and click it. Bam! And, like you go like that, and then you put declare war. Sadly. It may or may not, so you may get influence vote, or say if it lands on 50 or more percent, then you can declare war, but if you don't have influence vote, you have to press cancel, but I can just do that. Next, I want to invade Guatemala, so you, you saw me, how uh, I invaded it. Uh, well, basically, it's kind of hard to get allies, really. So, you gotta make allies yourself by invading countries and puppeting them. You may be wondering, how do you puppet a country? Well, it'll be easy. First, you gotta invade the country. In three seconds, I will have Guatemala. Then you click on your country, click on the little flag, then you go to 
this white flag right here and you'll see oh hey here's Guatemala you put either puppet or liberate play as will make you Guatemala so I'll put puppet so now Guatemala is now a puppet state then I want to put an alliance it will prove and then bam you have your first alliance okay so now let's invade Mexico I'm going to show you while we're invading Mexico the other part this is how to get from place to place so basically as you can see it's a ship if you want like a battle a battleship you know like you you broke my battleship or whatever it's called but basically you gotta choose this but say you want to like go from place to place you gotta like go to transport then you do the same thing for the soldiers so you know like i'll click on this i'll do that and do that and then you click the soldier i don't have a boat but then you go up to this and you click the ocean of where the boat is so bam you got yourself transport in a second here we are going to have Mexico so as you are I know I invaded Guatemala making puppeting them to make them my a part of my alliance so now we are Mexico pretty much so yeah, um, that's really all to it, but you can, you can also go to Europe and invade them. Uh, if, say I select the UK and I want to play as Scotland, then, uh, you do the same thing to, like, liberate and puppet, but you put play as. So, uh, I go to this, I go boop, I go boop, and play as. And bam, I am now Mexico. Um, is there anything else important? Oh yes, uh, so basically, in Iron Assault, there will be an alliance, not just allies. But a whole entire alliance. So, Canada, I believe, Dominion of Newfoundland, and the UK. If you click on Canada, you will see it has an alliance with the UK. How do you say it? New Dominion. New Dominion of Newfoundland. Sorry, I keep on forgetting. And bam, that's a full on alliance. Uh, so, yeah. If you want more explanation, I will just comment. Send this to some beginners of Iron Assault 2 who don't understand physics of the Iron Assault 2. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Consider subscribing if, if you want. I'll be posting a new... Sh a new little video like every single day and except for Christmas during break. Bye!